Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to Indy's Garage. I am the CEO of Indy's Garage, and today we're going to be installing two uh, E-Flex fuel systems on two of America's classic cars. One is a 2006 Corvette, the other is a 2011 Camaro. Both of these vehicles are, are, are purely stock. The Camaro does have some mods on it, but we're going to be adding a fully automatic, basically, E-Flex fuel system that's going to be able to run off of these cars and piggyback off of their systems. What are the benefits of running ethanol? Well, one, obviously it burns cleaner. Two, it's, it burns at a cooler rate. And three, it's going to add more horsepower, up to 100 horsepower gained on your vehicle just by adding this kit. So. If you can follow along with us today, we're gonna to be doing the installs on both of these, showing you guys how it's done and how simple it is for these systems to get put in place, put on your car and give you more horsepower, burn cleaner, better for the environment, everything that you're looking for out of something that's gonna give you performance. So stay tuned, folks. All right, guys, today behind me is the 2011 Camaro. And on this car, we are going to put the E-Flex Fuel System Pro Series Kit. Now, this is the kit that comes with a little bit more tuning capabilities than just the normal kit, but it's still your 100% automatic piggyback system that goes off of the, uh, the car's ECM. So you're really not doing anything to the car that's going to change any of the manufacturer warranty. You're not changing anything that's going to cause any real problems with the car. This is just a piggyback system. So it's gonna allow you to run ethanol. It's gonna allow you to have the horsepower gains. It's gonna allow you to have the benefits of running a cleaner, more efficient burning fuel that ethanol is. This series has got everything in it that you need, this kit. So check it out. We'll be installing it on this Camaro and follow along so you can do this at home. All right, one of the most important things to remember that with these kits, you can run ethanol or gas or both, okay? The system is gonna be able to tell how much ethanol is running in your system. And the beautiful thing about that is you're gonna have an app on your phone that is going to break down and show you the ethanol content and a lot of other specifics on what's going on with the engine. So again, if you've got a gas station that's got E85 and you wanna run ethanol and you wanna run it that way, that's perfect. But say you're in a state that doesn't have ethanol around and available, that's fine, you just put gas in it. The system is not going to do anything on your car until the ethanol content gets high enough to actually turn on the system itself. So you're safe in whatever fuel that you wanna run in the car and you have a handheld app in your pocket or in your hand, hopefully not while you're driving, that you can actually see everything that is going on, okay? This is the kit that you need, folks. As you know today, we're actually putting in two kits. One is the Pro Series, which actually allows for a little bit more tuning, uh, a little bit more benefits, and you can really uh, tune in that ethanol. And then you have your Plus Series as well. Now this kit is just, just as good as the Pro, but doesn't have all the tuning capabilities. It still gives you all those benefits that you're looking for from ethanol. In the true flex system, running gas or ethanol, adding horsepower to your car, and actually doing better for the environment. Because as we all know, ethanol is cleaner, and it burns better and more thoroughly, and it creates horsepower. And that's what E-Flex fuel system is all about, putting horsepower under your butt. Okay, so before installing the kit, there are some uh, basic safety precautions that you need to do on the car in pre preparation for putting the kit on. As you can see, we have the kit out, we have everything that comes with it, and a, a few of the items uh, that have to be done is obviously the car needs to be turned off. Secondly, you need to make sure that the engine has cooled off. You definitely don't want to be working around an engine that's been warm or has any heat coming off of it because it's just not going to make the install fun for you. Uh, last but not least, you need to make sure that the vehicle is in good working order and has been maintained properly. So that means no engine lights, no issues with the, uh, with the vehicle at all, and that your engine is at top running performance before you put this kit on. Please follow those ones and the kit should go fairly easy to install. Some of the other important steps to prepare your vehicle for the install is one, to make sure that the vehicle is turned off. Two, that you remove the keys from the vehicle, place them in your pocket or somewhere safe, and then do what is very important is to shut the door. One of the things that you have to remember also during the entire time that you're doing the installation to not open the doors. Opening the doors can actually prime the fuel pump and that is something that we do not want to happen while you're doing installation. So keep the keys away from the car and keep the doors shut. Another very important step to take in precaution before you're doing the installation of the E-Flex fuel system is to open up the fuel door, 
and release the pressure from the tank. This is a very important process and step to do before you install the kit. So please remember to do this and follow all the other steps along before you put the kit on your vehicle. In each E-Flex fuel system, you will find a fuel line to be able to attach the fuel sensor. You're going to have the adapters that you might need in that process as well. You're gonna have the actual plug-in adapters for the injectors. It's gonna come with the entire wiring harnesses that you're gonna to need to get all the systems up and running. And then of course, you're gonna have the main control module as well in each one of those E-Flex fuel systems. During the E-Flex fuel system install, there will be some tools that are needed. You can see on the table, we have a small assortment of tools that you will need for the job. One of the important ones is a multimeter that you must have. That will definitely make the job a little bit easier for you. We also supply some zip ties inside of that package. Um, it could be beneficial while, but not always needed. Uh, a handy tape measure is always needed. Safety gloves. And on the Pro Series, it's probably really important that you have a soldering gun. These are your basic tools that you will need to be able to do any installation of either of our kits on your vehicle. The first part of the process is installing the ethanol sensor. This is going to give us an accurate reading of the fuel and what mixture is in it. Next step is depressurizing the fuel system. Please have a towel handy because fuel might expel onto the engine. Do this by pushing in on the valve and releasing the pressure out. Next step is removing the safety clip from the fuel line. Please take your time and make sure it's fully removed. Next is disconnecting the fuel line using the provided fuel line disconnect tool. Be sure to have a rag handy in case fuel expels. Next, we will be cutting two fuel lines, one at six inches long and the other at 22 and a half inches long. Next, we're going to disassemble the fuel line. We're also going to attach the ethanol fuel sensor. Please make sure that all fasteners are tight and every fitting is snug. Next, we're gonna take the cut and assembled fuel line and attach it back into the fuel system. Release the pins in order to disconnect the injector plugs.
Next, we are testing the polarity of the injectors by using a multimeter. Make sure the multimeter is set at continuity mode where it will beep upon contact. If it beeps, that is the correct side of the injector. This is where the red wires from the harnesses will plug into the next phase of the installation. Make sure to test all eight injectors. It's important, remember the side of injector plug that beeps. Again, it's important to remember the side of the injector plug that beeps. Next, we're going to connect the extension wires to the main wiring harness. Now that the extension wires have been connected to the main harness, it's time to slide the male connectors to the end of the terminal wire. Start by testing the male connector to the vehicle's original injector plug to distinguish where the red wire will be connected to. Ensure that the wire in the connection direction when sliding it through the male connector. Make sure to properly pull it all the way through until there is a click. It should be fairly easy. Now do all eight of them and verify that the red wire is connected on the same side of every connector. The connectors are now in. It's time to install the harness. First, start off by connecting our harness directly to the fuel injectors and to the vehicle's injector wires. Make sure that all the connectors are a snug fit. You should hear a click. Don't forget to lock the safety clips on the fuel injectors. Connect all eight injectors. Route the wires so they are not near anything that has high voltage. Now that the wire harness has been properly secured, it's time to place the temperature sensor. This is the wire with the orange tip. On this Camaro, we're placing the temperature sensor under the intake manifold near the engine block or where you feel most comfortable. Remember to always avoid high voltage. Next, it's time to connect the ethanol sensor plug. This is the brown plug on the harness. Connect this plug to the ethanol sensor. Listen for the click. Once the sensor is secured, it's time to mount the ground wire. On this Camaro, we're mounting it to the fender bolt. For this, you would need a 10 millimeter wrench. Remember that when installing the ground wire, it's important that it's mounted on bare metal. Now that all the wires have been attached, it's now time to connect the harness to the control unit. Once installed, it's important to find a place to mount the unit that's not near anything high voltage.
Next, it's time to start your car to ensure that it is working properly. Then, we wanna make sure that we have the app connected to the vehicle so that we can have the diagnostic on our phone and ensure that everything is working properly. E-Flex Fuel System, baby! America! All right, folks, that wraps up the install on the Camaro. Next, we're gonna be doing the Corvette. I'm gonna hand that over to Daryl, and he's gonna walk you through that entire procedure, so stay tuned. Hey, guys, it's Daryl here from E-Flex Fuel. Now that we've finished the Camaro, it's time to get started on the Corvette. We're gonna be installing the E-Flex Plus kit. Let's get started. To prepare for this installation, similar to the Camaro, you wanna make sure that your vehicle is in proper working condition. Make sure that the vehicle is cool to the touch and that you remove the fuel cap and make sure that the door is closed and the keys are not anywhere near while you're doing the installation. Now to start the installation, we will be first installing the ethanol sensor. To do this, find the fuel line. On this Corvette, it's located on the driver's side. Similar to the Camaro, release the pressure by opening the relief valve. Next. Remove the safety lock and use the fuel line disconnect tool to release the fuel line. Have a rag handy for this. Now, measure the fuel line to the appropriate size. Similar to the Camaro, the fuel line for the Corvette will be 22 and half inches and six inches. Connect the ethanol sensor to the fuel line and install it onto your vehicle. Listen for that click. Now it's time to install the main wiring harness. First, start by locating the fuel injectors. Next, release the safety clips on the injectors and unplug the original harness from the injectors. Once the injectors have been unplugged, it's time to measure the polarity with the multimeter. Take your time with this step. Set your multimeter to continuity mode where it beeps. Take the red wire on the multimeter and plug it into one side of the injector. Next, take the black wire and plug it into the same side of the injector on a separate injector. If it beeps, this is the correct side that the red wire from our main harness connects to. Remember that side that it beeps on. Check all eight injectors. Connect the extensions to the main wiring harness. As we did with the Camaro, slide the male connectors to the end of the wires, pull them all the way through. Connect all eight wires to the vehicle's fuel injector. Listen for the click. Now that the wire harness has been properly secured, it's time to place the temperature sensor. This is the wire with the orange tip. On this Corvette, we're placing the temperature sensor on top of the lower intake near the engine block or where you feel most comfortable. Remember to avoid high voltage areas. Next, it's time to connect the ethanol sensor plug. This is the brown plug on the harness. Connect this plug to the ethanol sensor. Listen for the click.
Once the ethanol sensor is secured, it's time to mount the ground wire. On this Corvette, we will mount it to the negative terminal of the battery. Remember that when installing the ground wire, it's important that it's mounted on bare metal. Now that all wires have been attached, it's now time to connect the harness to the control unit. Once installed, it's important to find a place to mount that doesn't have high voltage. Now that we are all finished, make sure to tidy up the wires for safety in areas away from direct heat. Once we've got the vehicle started, connect to our mobile app to double check that everything is connected properly.